In this video, we'll be talking about what happens to resistors when they don't follow Ohm's law. So for example, uh, we've got not all resistors do follow that. If they follow Ohm's law, of course, they're called ohmic. But if they don't follow, what then? Well, then they have a variable resistance. That's why I put those names. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> so let's just look at the symbol, first of all, for a variable resistor. Now, all of these resistors we're going to discuss here always have a little square like this right here, and they're all going to have this little piece like this. They all will. Okay, so this one here will. We're going to have the light-dependent uh, resistor, by the way. That one will also have the same thing. So I'm just trying to draw them all. You're going to see they're all like this. They all get this. Just to try to show you here, we're going to be looking at all of them here. Okay, and we've even got a potentiometer as well, so they all go like this. So the question is then, what do we do with each of those resistor symbols? So if we look at this first one here, a variable resistor, it's a nice, simple, generic term. It just basically it goes like this, it's like with a little arrow. I like to think of it as, hey, it's just something that's, uh, I just think of it like, oh, it's like the resistance goes up or something like that, like the resistance just changes. So that's a generic variable resistor. Now, if we have a light-dependent resistor, so it's called LDR for short. That's when the resistance changes depending on what kind of light is shining on it, the intensity or the wavelength of it. So it's something called photoresistance. So what happens there is I just imagine then it's like a light falling onto it. So there's like two arrows coming onto it. So I imagine like, oh, those are my, that's my light coming onto it. So that is the symbol at least for a uh, light dependent resistor, so LDR. For example, uh, camera light sensors, you know, on your phone, for example, you have automatic light sensors, things like that for dimming your screen, all that stuff. Now, thermistors are slightly different. That's where, um, well, it's usually a metal and it, its uh, resistance changes depending on the temperature. So it's temperature sensitive, you could say. So how does that symbol go? Well, it goes just like the uh, variable resistance, except it goes like this right here. So it's got this little stick sticking out like that. So there we go. And what is a possible use for those? Well, lots of things like in a car, for example, you know, to check your engine or, you know, thermostat in your house. You can grow crystals like this. So just so you know, this is at least how we use thermistors. Now, I've got something called a potentiometer. That's, again, where a resistance changes, but it depends on where you have contact. So this could be like a, a circuit, for example, that has a potentiometer here. And what happens is this, imagine it's like a big coil of metal. Maybe you've had one of these in your lab, for example, at school. Like, you know, so, you know, there'll be like a big coil of metal like this right here. And then depending on where you plug it in, basically, get, depending on where you connect it, then it's going to, you know, sort of connect a circuit, you know, or something like that. Or So, and it depends. Like, if you make it bigger, then the resistance is bigger. If you make it smaller, resistance is smaller. So you can change it basically depending on where you plug it in. So how does that symbol look? Well, that one's just one, just kind of like this right here. It's got a little arrow coming in like that. There we go. So it's just like this. You sort of, depending on where you plug it in, basically the resistance is different. Yay, that was actually not so bad, huh? Now, using variable resistance, we can actually make a circuit for this. I like this name. Is a female thermistor a thermistor? Oh, that's stupid. So we have a kind of circuit where we can put a sensor. So something like, you know, uh, maybe an LDR, a thermistor, whatever you want here, for example. And what you do is you just connect a circuit. So you have sort of V in, I said, so the potential difference sort of, you know, that's like the terminal one, for example. And this one here is the one where we're just measuring. We've got a voltmeter here. So I'm going to call it V in and V out maybe. So let's look at the current in the whole circuit. Let's first of all look at this. So if we consider the current in the whole circuit, I'm going to use just V equals IR, just, you know, an Ohm's law. And I'm going to get I by itself. So I'm going to say, oh, that means I is going to be just equal to, let's see, it's V over R. But in this case right here, though, it's not going to be just R. If it's this whole circuit, it's, remember the, uh, what happens if you have a circuit going around like this right here? If uh, you have two resistors that are in series, you add the resistors. So it's going to be R1 plus R2. That's going to be my first equation here, I equals V over R1 plus R2. In fact, maybe I should be more careful. I'll say V in, you know, this, this first one here. But then let's look at the current at R2. Let's just look at this one right here, what the voltmeter will measure. Same idea, right? I'm still going to use Ohm's law, so V equals IR. And that means the current then just here, that current is going to be, well, V over R. So in this case, V out. And this time it's only resistor 2 that's here, so V out over R2. 
So, so I've got that second one. So I've, I'm kind of just looking at these different sort of loops or these different little sections of the circuit. So this overall one and plus this little one right here going around. Now, I know that the current, you know, the current that goes through this whole circuit, because it's a series circuit, remember this is just a detector. Because it's a series circuit, the current here is the same as the current here. So because I can set these two equal to each other, then I'll just start with this one right here. I'll say this thing equals that thing. So I'll say V out, for example, that we just had over two. Oops, that's supposed to be over R2, I mean. Well, that's going to equal V in over R1 plus R2. Now, I want to get V out by itself. So I'm just going to do that. So V out then is going to be equal to, let's see, I just got to multiply my R2 up top. So I can say, I can maybe make a fraction like R2 over R1 plus R2. And all that times V in. That's a way to do it. That'll work like this. So to see how this right here then uh, will work. So yeah. maybe I'll put uh, brackets around our parentheses. I mean, just to make it a little bit simpler to see. So like this. So there we go. This tells me then if I'm monitoring this uh, potential difference here, or the, you know, I'm using this voltmeter here to monitor what's going through that sensor, then I'm just looking for this is right here. This is the equation that's going to tell me what's going on. Now let's do an actual example. So we have an automatic light switch. So we have an LDR that's activated. It means it maybe it turns the lights on in the house or something. When the potential difference across it, uh, potential difference, sorry, across it is five volts or larger. So here's your, remember this is the symbol for a thermistor here. So when this thing right here, maybe I'll label these like I did before. I'll call this V in and I'll call this one here V out. Okay, so if I do that right there, well then, well, we know that we have the battery has an EMF of 12 volts, has no internal resistance, which is nice. So we don't have to deal with that. And we're asking for, hey, what value of R1 will cause the lights to turn on if the LDR resistance is 200 kilo ohms. So basically we just need to look at this equation uh, that we just uh, came up with before. This one right here, V out equals R2 over R1 plus R2. So I'll just write this out maybe. So I'll do it here. So we have V out. That's going to equal R1. Uh, whoops. Hold on a second. It's not R1. It's R2 over R1 plus R2. Here we go. And all that times V in. And now we've got to do just solve for what we're looking for. So what do I really want to find? I want to solve for R1. So maybe I'll move this mess to the left and I'll move this thing to the right. So for starters, then I'll just start organizing this thing. So I'll say, all right, that means R1 plus R2. I'll just move this over to the left side. It's going to be equal to, well, the R2 is still there. The V in is still there. Now I'm going to be dividing by V out. Okay. And then of course I want to get R1 by itself. So that means R1 will just be equal to this whole thing minus R2. So I'll say R2 times V in over V out. And all that minus R2. Well, then I'll just put in the numbers and I'm done. So R1 is going to equal, let's see now, it's going to be R2, which is, we know it's 200,000. Remember that's what a kilo ohm means? So it's really important. Don't just say 200. It's 200,000. All that times V in, which is 12, over V out. Well, what's V out? Oh, it's 5. We're assuming it just turned on. And all that is going to be minus 200,000. So let's do this then. So, uh, I mean, I've got uh, this, yeah, you know what? I'll just do it all on my calculator just all at once. It'll be nice and easy. So I'll do this big pretty fraction here and say, all right, 200,000 times 12, all that over five, all that minus 200,000. All right, then write number zero, so here we go. I end up with 280,000. So that means R1 equals 280,000 ohms. Or, of course, I could say, just like they wrote it before here, I could say that means it's 280 kilo ohms. I can leave it like that too if I want. So there we go, I've solved this. So I figured out then what value of R1 makes this um, LDR actually activate. So in other words, when we have this one here being 5 volts, this one's 12 volts, this one here is 200,000 kilo 
uh, so 200,000 ohms, then R1 needs to be 280 kilo ohms or 280,000 ohms. So there we go. We've solved this, and we've actually worked with different kinds of uh, variable resistors.